So here are 50 transitional words that you can use in your research papers or thesis uh, to make your paper uh, qualitatively best when compared to other research papers. These transitional words are very common. Anybody can use any research scholar from any background, any subject. You can use this in your research paper or you can write in your thesis or dissertation. These 50 good transitional words are uh, very, very important to em emphasize or to speak additional statements or to differentiate between objects and uh, um, actions or to uh, bring in time in, into your statements and if the first thing like you can add spice in your paper with these transitional words very easily now the first word is undoubtedly now this undoubtedly is a very good word uh, you can use it in your research paper especially you want to emphasize something that is uh, very certain so there is uh, nothing uncertain that's that's why so you don't have any doubt without doubt you are telling a statement in your research paper so in such context context you can you can use this undoubtedly uh, that way you can uh, bring a good transitional words uh, in your research paper or thesis and also remember whenever you use these uh, transitional words you must make sure that you use right punctuation after every transitional word that is comma do not forget to do that usually when i proofread some research papers of some scholars they uh, do forget this main punctuation mark after each transitional words that they use in throughout a thesis or research paper so make sure to use punctuation mark comma after these words and the second to put emphasis on some statement of yours in the research paper, you can use unquestionably. What do you mean by unquestionably? Unquestionably means that nobody can question your statement or what you are writing. So neither your supervisor or your teacher or your school scholar or any editor of journal when they read that particular particular statement unquestionably so they don't uh, they uh, in a way that cannot be disputed or doubted or without question so that's how you use for example like uh, a simple example if somebody uh, has got uh, a Nobel Prize you can use the Nobel Prize is unquestionably deserved to him so nobody can question uh, for that Nobel Prize to be taken by some, that particular person. So it is unquestionably uh, deserved to that person. That's that's the beauty of this transitional words. It, it, it contains a lot of meaning into it. A lot of emphasis uh, is uh, going into it. Mm -hmm. So next is obviously. So this is uh, mm, halfway popular. Some use it uh, uh, mostly in their research papers it does mean like uh, that is easily perceived or understood so uh, you when you want to use this particular word now you have done some experiment uh, that experiment probably is uh, a very well known or commonly done experiment you can use this obviously word so it is easily perceived or understood obviously uh, the derivation is uh, common or that way whatever maybe you want to use so according to your subject you can use this word obviously which means it is easily pursued or understood of course it is based on evidence also so in research transitional word uh, uh the meaning of transitional word differs in research so here it may not be clearly but evidently clear so it is based on evidence obvious means and next of course clearly is uh, 
almost uh, same as obviously but clearly doesn't need to have any evidence uh, unlike uh, obviously where you need to have evidence next absolutely so absolutely that's very famous word that we use in you in uh, spoken english and even you can use in your research paper which means uh, without with no qualification with no restriction or limitation so when you want to bring statement that has nothing no evidence into that no restriction no qualification nothing now for example you trust somebody absolutely sometimes when we uh, meet our strangers uh, within a first sight we trust absolutely without knowing their background qualification restriction and uh, this this is how you can use so that's what not viewed in relation to other things so that's how this great word can be used in your research paper another word is indeed this is again misunderstood by many how to use this so what is the meaning of indeed so here indeed means now there was some statement in the past and now uh, you are using emphasizing a statement or your response confirming something already told in the past a statement that you are confirming indeed the experiment experiment conducted by ramanujan is etc etc so that's how indeed is a good transitional word which uh, can be used to emphasize a statement or response confirming something already <coughs> suggested <coughs> it can be also used to introduce a further and stronger or more surprising point or like you want this is a again secondary meaning of indeed like you you have a surprising point a stronger point you, uh, in your thesis or research paper so you can uh, use this indeed like for example the idea is attractive to many men and indeed to many children so that's how this uh, transitional word indeed can be used and next it should be noted without a doubt we all know it very well importantly particularly especially definitely in particular and if you want to add additionally something so this is these are some uh, 10 transitional words you can use for to say additional things now apart from apart from this means not only what you are saying not only what something has been said by you or somebody but also uh, you are saying something apart from that statement moreover we all know it very well most commonly used word so you can use this word but don't use too many times if you want to stand out from other research papers from other theses dissertations you have to use something specific something different that can be instead of moreover you can also use apart from this or furthermore furthermore is also very common in addition very common additionally many know besides not only but also also to an additional and the third one is contrast you want to show some difference then you can use this unlike nevertheless on the other hand so you can use this uh, very very uh, uh, good things like unlike something means you are telling something what is not in some what is not somewhere among this word you can take conversely like conversely means uh, uh, without opposing us uh, you are opposing something like uh, what was in the past and you are telling a new statement uh, taking maybe from your experiment you learned something and you are proving something was wrong in the past with your experiment so you can use conversely so despite not non nonetheless in spite of in contrast and another another great uh, uh, transitional word for timing is following 
at this time previously firstly secondly thirdly finally above all last but not least very famous first and foremost very famous so it's very good that you use all these emphases additions contrast time elements uh, in your research paper that way you can bring beauty you can bring quality your research paper stands out further going there are still uh, some more words so here are some more words for like uh, uh, especially these are wo these words are used to, to argue your statement or uh, like to uh, give some examples or to introduce something now for example for introduce introduction this is to say especially when you write introduction in the beginning of your paper or thesis you can use these five great words uh, uh, while here and there you just insert here and there this is to say for instance particularly mostly mainly now if you want to tell an alternative you can use these words one alternative is in comparison in fact though although or you want to restate your points like in other words better to put more simply this this is very good word to put more simply with this in mind also very good word in that case so you want to go back to the previous point where you might have uh, uh, explained uh, in the other paragraph earlier you can use this after all at the same time on the other hand although may be a good point even if so this these are the words or you want to give an opener opener sentence admittedly you are admitting something and telling something of your view granted or generally speaking there is something on the level out there but you are generally speaking something other way from your own on your own nobody denies in general very good word what about cause and effect when you when you have this cause and effect relationship between uh, the objects or subjects you can use this thus hence due to as a result usually as a result is what i see in most of the papers when i proofread them then you can also use so restate your point again to clarify one such to explain that is to say specifically and conclusion part when it comes there are five different words usually we use to conclude this is the word which i see many research scholars using all the way always to conclude to conclude you can also use in final analysis what a beautiful word to use it all in all in final consideration all things considered so follow these words in your research papers and share this video to your juniors or to your if supervisors are watching this kindly share it with your scholars and uh, do not uh, uh, forget to use these uh, transitional words in your papers to bring more quality into your paper thank you this is uh, Shyam Prasad Reddy T PhD mentor on PhD study tips YouTube channel